have every single heirloom in Apex Legends. And in this video, I'm gonna be ranking every single heirloom. Now, the last time I ranked these heirlooms, you guys were not happy. So then I put a poll up on YouTube and I asked you guys what it is that pretty much you look for when it comes to getting an heirloom. And pretty much it's only one thing. You guys only care about how it looks. So in this video, I'm gonna be ranking every single heirloom in Apex Legends based on how it looks. By the way, if you guys don't have an Apex Legends heirloom, I do give them away frequently in the form of tournaments. If you guys wanna know how to get involved in these tournaments, whether I give away an heirloom or a prestige skin, make sure you guys subscribe and join my Discord community to be updated when I do them. We're gonna start with Bangalore's Cold Steel. Okay, so if we're going based off just looks, it's pretty sick, it's clean. Inspects aren't gonna be included, Okay, but we're just gonna go ahead and inspect anyways so we can get another angle of looking at this. This is gonna be really hard to rate just by how it looks, but I think how it looks mailing, it's clean. It's what you expect, right? A knife. But all in all, Bangalore's heirloom, it, I think you guys can agree with me when I say this, I don't think it's SG. It might be great. I think it might be great. Cause good would be like, it's, uh, it's pushing meh. I think Bangalore's heirloom it's great for how it looks and what it offers when we're playing with it, how it looks like when we're swinging and running with it. It's about as far as we'll go because inspects and animations, we're not taking that into account when it comes to rating. Bangalore remains, comment down below. Let me know if you think this is appropriate. Moving on to Ash's Heirloom, the strongest link, also known as a pair of nunchucks. I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting her to even get nunchucks. I kind of thought maybe it was gonna be a sword. That one time she tried to take out Pathfinder and, it, and got hit with the Uno reverse card. No. Instead, we get nunchucks. Hit it with an inspect just so we can get another closer look on it. Right? It looks pretty clean. Look at that. Some electrical blades coming out the end of it. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. What does it look like when we hit? Yeah. Yep. I kind of like that. It's pretty satisfying. Not going to lie. How it looks when we're running with it. Right? Kind of. I don't, know, I don't know why I made those sounds. <laughs> it sounds great. It looks great when you hit. Kind of gives a little electrical boom. I think this is kind of like right up there with Bangalore's. I think it's great. It's not bad. It's definitely not meh. Definitely putting it in great. It's great. And Ash Mains, let me know what you think. This is really hard. If we're just rating this just by how they look, previous tier lists that I've done before are not going to have any type of like relevancy to this tier list. If your guys' heirloom gets put in a spot where you disagree, Comment down below and let me know why I should change it. Up next are Pathfinder's boxing gloves, and it's exactly what it looks like. Boxing gloves. Look at this. Mm. Illegal punch technique, by the way, in boxing, you guys aren't allowed to punch with two hands at the same time, right? These are some pretty fun, funny looking uh, heirlooms, especially for Pathfinder. Now, my only gripe with these things, just look how much of the screen it, these things take. They look cool, but my God, do they take so much of your screen. Oh no, Arthur just got punched out, got KO'd. Now, if you guys are a boxing fan, or maybe you're just a Pathfinder main, you guys already like, these are your favorites, right? In comparison to where, what we already have up here, Pathfinder's heirloom, it's gonna fall under good. Again, Pathfinder means comment down below and let me know if you guys agree or not. Next up, we have Wraith, who actually has two heirlooms, a regular heirloom and a recolor. In this video, we're just gonna rate the recolor because if you guys had to ask me which heirloom to get of Wraith and you don't own any of them, just get the recolor, get hopes done. But this heirloom, this is a uh, this is a classic. It's a clean one, it's a kunai. Gives a little nice animations when you do melee. Yeah. There we go. You got a little, little Wraith, little Wraith phase kind of comes through when you hit him. It's aesthetically pleasing when you are running, how it sounds when it's twisting. Again, we're gonna inspect it just to give it another closer look. Ooh. Chop the wings off that fly now. That won't go into the rating, but how it looks when you're hitting people with it, how it sounds when you're running, like all that stuff. Wow, embarrassing. I really just want to put it at great, but honestly, it's it's an S tier. It it's too it looks too good. Actually, it's in God tier. It's a God tier heirloom. Wraith Mains, let me know if you agree. If you don't agree, go find another video. Moving on. Next up is Octane's butterfly knife. And yeah, it's it's a butterfly knife. And it's actually a little bit of a stim too, because one of his inspects, if we get it, kind of pokes himself in the head. Let's get a little bit of a closer look here. A little butterfly action. There it is. Does he do it? Yep. Right right there. Yep. Look at that thing. Yep. Yeah. 
Melee animations are clean with the butterfly knife. Exactly what it looks like. He kind of stabs them with it, slashes them with it a little bit. And I don't want to count in every single one of these. They're running inspect, like you know when you're running and you're spam quipping. Like I don't. That that's that doesn't count. All right. This tier list is literally solely based on just how the heirloom looks in general. When we just get a little bit of a closer look. And because of that, I think the octane mains are about to fight me in the chat. But I I just think it's it's great. It's not superior heirloom. It's definitely not god tier. It's great. It definitely does not even come close to the level of Wraith's kunai. You know, it's 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 missing something, all right? Maybe when Octane's recolor comes out, we'll re we'll rearrange that. Next up is Revenant, and he has two heirlooms. He has the Dead Man's Curve and the recently released recolor, which is Death Grip. I'm not gonna lie, they kind of look the same. I mean, this one looks a little more darker, a little bit more uh I guess life stealing like. I really don't know how to describe this one, but it does look better. But it sounds like when he... It's embarrassing! I can't hit somebody standing in front of me. How it looks when he's running with it. I mean, it's 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 just... It, death running with his scythe. You know what I mean? And how it looks... Obviously, it's great. It's pretty damn... Good. Inspects aren't take, being taken into account for the rating, you guys, okay? Relax. But where does Revenant's death grip fall into this? Now, I'm going to be honest, it's not great. It, it's not great. It's not good, neither. It's, it's because it's superior, and it's a lot better than these three. Not as good as Wraith's, but it's, it's, it's superior. I guess you can make an argument for it being god tier, but I don't want you guys to think that just because they have recolors that they're god tier. Again, my tier list, how it looks, what I think. And I think that it's superior, it's not great, because it's better than that, but it definitely ain't no god tier heirloom, okay? Next up, we have Horizons Vibe, I mean, Gravity Maw. Yes, it's a, like, a mace, an Irish mace, with a little bit of a black hole. Gravity Maw. I like that, it gives a nice little jingle in our ears. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's like a lightsaber with Sigma's ball at the end of it. My Overwatch main's at. Let's get another closer look at this thing. Took some time to make this one. Even longer than you, Newty. Yeah. Little Kyber Crystal. A phenomenal heirloom, very unique. Finally that she got it, it only took a while. You know, there were several legends that came after her that got theirs before. Horizons heirloom, this is definitely gonna fall under superior. Next up is Valkyrie's Suzaku, and it's a spear. It's really nice, it's a nice heirloom. All right, let's see what it looks like when we walk with it. Look at that. I think what I, what, what my favorite thing about this heirloom is that when you're flying, you, you hold it out, man. You're like a you're like a Valkyrie in the sky. Ah! Yes, melee animations are great. All that's left is uh, to check out one of her inspects. We have a bowl of ramen. Mmm, yeah, it looks good. It sounds good. Are we just not gonna talk about how she just downed an entire bowl of ramen in less than three seconds? That throw, throw. Uh, it's just... All right, so let's go ahead and uh, rate it now. Um, Valkyries, I very unique. Okay, I think it's very fitting. I don't think it's superior though. I think it's god tier. I think this is a god tier heirloom. It's great. I'm not being biased because of how quick she downed an entire bowl of ramen. It's a damn spear. I think sick. Valkyries Suzaku spear. God tier. Next up is Bloodhound's Raven's Bite, which is an axe. This is an axe, right? It's got a little raven at the back of it. Glowing of red. Very mythic-y, you know what I mean? Mythic, mythic -y, mythical -y. Well, look at this. Here we go. Very nice, clean heirloom. One of the first to come out when the game was, when the game was, you know, hyped about heirlooms, you know? Basic inspects, okay, but we're not taking that into account for this rating. It's exactly what you think it'd look like when you're hitting with it, swinging an ax at somebody. But how it looks when he's running, walking, kind of little twist, little twist with it. It's very simple, yet clean, very nice heirloom to look at when you're running. Am I the only one that thinks that they need to like, 
you know, besides recolors, like, an heirloom finisher would be cool. I mean, we got the prestige skin finishers, I guess. That's, that works. I don't know. Maybe I'm just complaining. So here's my rating on it, just based on how it looks, you guys. It's good. It's not as great as Bangalore's Cold Steel, Octane's Heirloom, or even Ash's Heirloom. Next up, we have Crypto's Buy One Blade. B1, Obi-Wan, Kenobi, because it looks like a lightsaber. It's a sword. Look at this. Lightsaber training? Tell me I'm wrong. Jedi Temple training. Some people might even argue Fruit Ninja. I don't know. Whoo! I know I don't like Crypto, but man, he knows how to dress and he knows how to pick a dang good heirloom. Look at this. Oh! We got the rare melee animation. You guys saw that? We hit him with the drone. Right? But we're not taking that into account. But the fact that we even get that, kind of, it's pretty good value. But when he's running with it, he kind of gives it a little bit of a twirl. It's, a, it's just a great heirloom. I'm not going to lie. When this one came out, I was pumped. I didn't even blink. Maybe I should do like a what happens when we get 20 cryptos all using their heirloom at the same time? We could have a sword fight tournament. A buy one blade tournament? Winner gets crypto's prestige skin when it comes out? Comment down below if that's a good idea if you guys made it this far in the video. Comment down below if that's a good idea. I feel like that's a good idea. I feel like it'd be pretty sick. I feel like this shouldn't be a surprise. Crypto's heirloom is definitely a god tier and I think it cemented itself into that spot from the very beginning. Next up, we have Sears Showstopper. These are called sickles. Quite the impact. Like popsicles, but they're just sickles. They're just, they're blades, hook blades. Look at this thing. Animation not being included in the rating, okay? It's just a good heirloom, okay? Let's see how it looks when he's running. He gives a little twirl with it when we're stepping. When he slides, he crosses them across his body. How does it look when he melees? Very clean, kind of just slices you up. Yeah. And he's known for his drawing, his artist skills, you know? Uh, let's see what he whips up for us just before we rate this heirloom, you know? Might be S tier, might be... Oh. <coughs> Moving on. Next up, we have Gibraltar's War Club. It's literally what... It's a war club and it's on fire. He, hit, he just hit you with his arm shield. That's sick. And he clubs you, of course. Arm shield again. Arm shield again. And how it and how it looks when we're running with it, he kind of gives it a little twirl. When he slides with it, again, across the body, like most of the heirlooms. Let's get a little bit of a closer look with the inspect. Look at this thing, you guys. It's a fiery war club. Fi fiery war club. It's on fire. Look at this thing. It's, it's just good. It's like right there with Bloodhounds. But I'll be honest though, like it's it's just not better than Bangalore's Cold Steel or even Octane's and Ash's Heirloom. Again, we'll see maybe when the recolor comes out. We know, we know we're gonna get them. Next up, we have Lifeline's Chopsticks. I mean, Shock Sticks. Oh my gosh, because they look like chopsticks, but I'm just kidding. They're actually drumsticks, shock sticks. They're drumsticks that shock you. Mm. They look great when you hit them. Look at them. Sounds like little mini electrical lightsabers. You hear that? Pretty nice. And when you're running with them, she twists them, you know? Lifeline mains especially, they love the twist. They like to twirl it and spam quip it. Remember, spam quipping is not going to be included in the rating or this video. It looks great. I mean, when she slides, she crosses the sticks. Running with them, she's got this, I don't know, what what is this? Any drummers? Tell me, what is this? Is this like a... Like a, like, a, like, a, like a stance or something? I don't know. I mean, they're just, they're just shock sticks. I mean, like, yeah, you, Lifeline mains are about to riot. The, the first heirloom we're putting in meh. It's just... <laughs> they're just, they're just drumsticks, shock sticks. It's just... It's, they're meh. Maybe when the recolor comes out, we'll, we'll, we'll bump it up to good. I don't know. Next up, we have Mirage's Too Much Wit. It's literally a trophy that's supposed to look like him, but I'm not gonna lie, it kind of doesn't really look like him. Let's watch this. That's a pretty cool. Best competitor in Battle Royale, uh, and he dropped it. All right, well, let's go ahead and check out the melee animations here. I mean, he just, wow, he just beats you with the trophy. All right.
The tro it talks to you when you hit somebody with it. It's just so funny watching him beat you up with a trophy. He just poked his eyes out. He just, he, he literally hit him with the snake eyes poke. What a guy. I mean, to be honest, there's really not much to say with his heirloom. I think this is probably just on how it looks. Just on how it looks. How, just on how it looks. Don't get it. Don't. I'm rating on how it looks. It falls under don't get it. Next up, we have Loba's Gar, 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 Gar. How do you say that? Garra de Alaza. Garra de. Garra de Alaza. Garra de Alaza. Garra de Alanza. Basically, it's a collapsible fan with blades. Look at it. collapsible fan with blades right how does she look when she's running with it a little nice little twirl oh we like that that sounds let's go ahead and check out what it is when she hits with it nice just i mean it's got blades it's exactly how i think that she'll be using it yeah she pretty much just beats the brakes off you oh did she just smack him Anyways, you guys know I'm, I like Loba. This is not, I'm not being biased. But it definitely is a god tier heirloom. It's definitely better than Revenants and better than Horizons and everything else before it. Next up, we have Caustic's Death Hammer, right? Look at this thing. Little glow. Inspects aren't being taken into account for the rating. How it looks when he runs with it. Kind of gives it a little twirl, a little twirl. Just before he uh, hits him with it. I like how it gives off a little gas, which is nice. Is there anything else really? Like how it looks when he's running? It's all right. It's just what you think. It's a hammer. Slides with it. Dude, this heirloom. This might this might fall under right here too. Don't get it. It's just, it's all right. I mean, it's not, honestly, don't get it. I was, I was having a hard time even finding something great to talk about this thing. But it's just, it's kind of mid. Not gonna lie, it's kind of a mid heirloom. Caustic mains, comment down below and let me know if you disagree, which I'm sure you probably will. But oh my god, this thing is I, it's even hard for me to put it in mech because at least with Lifeline's heirloom, you get the aesthetically pleasing sound when you're hitting, which by the way, we're not rating, not including the rating. But and not gonna lie, maybe there are people that are into it. And if you are into it, make your own damn tier list. Next up, we have Watson's Energy Reader, and it looks like a Walmart price checker tool thingy because Watson mains will fight me all day, every day to tell me that it's not. I mean, let's go ahead and inspect it. I don't know what it picked up on the radar, but we are picking things up on it. Wait, what? what is it picking up on the radar? Hold on. Is it picking up enemies? We're here now and it stopped showing up. Wait a minute. Is Watson's energy reader a free scan? I don't, I don't think so, but uh, comment down below and let me know, you guys, if I'm just tripping. What, what are those dots for? There's only one reason people get Watson's heirloom. Because of this guy. It, Nessie. Not influenced in the rating, by the way. Just by on how it looks. It's meh. You guys can't tell me. I don't want to hear anything in the comment section. Oh, Nessie. Oh, this, that. If anything has to do with an inspect, no. It just looks like a price checker tool. That's it. Next up, we have Ramparts Problem Solver. The biggest meme about this is that it's a wrench and that people were like, oh my gosh, I can go to Home Depot and get this heirloom. Then go get it for five bucks or 10 bucks, 20, I don't know, whatever. Again, not taking into account to the rating, but I do appreciate how it sounds when she's hitting with it. I mean, come on, who doesn't like the sound of a wrench spinning? I'm being serious, I actually, I, I enjoy it, right? But before we rate it, let's go ahead and check out the inspect. Your mom's tears. Mm 
casually disrespecting you because her favorite flavor is your mom's tears. Now, if you guys know me, Rampart's heirloom is actually my favorite heirloom. And just by how it looks alone, not including the inspects, not including the inspects, it's great. It looks great. Definitely the inspects and animations, they carry it, but it's just, just by how it looks, because that's what they we're rating on this tier list, right? It's great, it's great. Last but not least, Fuse's Razor's Edge. It's a guitar. Look at this thing. Let's take a look at this. Play, play us something, Fuse. pretty damn clean heirloom you guys it's literally like an axe let's hit a shot like they did in the trailer hold on yes oh man oh and of course when he's running he's holding it on his shoulder if you guys did not know that and how he looks when he's running with it again it's on his shoulder but he's kind of twirling it a little bit when he's running with it when he slides it's like he's gonna play it look at that you guys it's across his chest but where do we rate this heirloom on just looks alone use his heirloom It's a god tier. It's god tier heirloom. It's very unique. It's a guitar. Something that actually, to my opinion, actually fits him. Again, we're just rating it just on by how it looks. We don't care about the lore. We don't care about the animations, inspects, all that stuff. It's just how it looks. And you guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, if you guys agree with this tier list, comment down below and let me know. And again, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.